What comes to mind when you think of Germany? Good beer, exceptional engineering, a strange fascination of Mr. Bean, and an absolute mastery of the finer points of fascism. The German government certainly doesn't seem like it's gotten less aggressive. All you need to do is type Germany threatens into DuckDuckGo, or Google if you like to live life dangerously, and you will see a near endless list of the German government threatening companies and countries. You might think the fascism was left in the 40s, but it's kept up with the times. What type of fascism is trendy today? Taking away people's freedom of speech. And they've done that alright by passing a law on social media, making them responsible for hate speech on their platforms, stating it's their job to remove it or face one of the largest fines I've ever seen. This law doesn't seem to be overseen by anyone, making it completely unaccountable, and it gives social media not just the power and justification to remove stuff they don't like, it basically scares them into removing anything that could be potentially misconstrued as controversial. That is not a world I want to live in. It'll be like the film Demolition Man, where swearing is illegal along with most things fun. If social media platforms don't do enough to stem this content, up to a 50 million euro fine. That's about 58 million dollars. It's a nice little racket for the German government. Make something extremely hard to police illegal, and every slip up, 50 million euro payday. The only downside is freedom of speech becomes a lot less free. The funny part is the German constitution actually protects freedom of speech. It really shows how much they value your rights. Another example of how much Germany values its constitution. One of its items on the list is freedom of opinion. However, Naomi Sebt, a name I'm likely butchering, she engages in what the German government call climate denialism. Now, wherever you stand on the climate I think I can confidently say if you're watching this, you will agree with me that no one deserves to be locked up based on their opinion of it. Well, welcome the fuck to Germany. For making videos talking about her views on the climate, she got landed with a 2,400 euro fine, something I'm sure all 19 year olds can take without it breaking the bank. And if she doesn't pay, she gets locked up. For those pesky freedoms that Germany are meant to protect. I mean, who's gonna stop them, right? If you take action against them and make them angry, they might try and take over the world again. One side effect of removing people's freedom of speech is you take away their way to complain about things they don't like about how you're running the country, which inevitably drives it underground, and then like-minded people can link up and speak their minds, and it all ends up getting more and more radical, which has proven to be extremely dangerous, especially in Germany. One of those issues I imagine being talked about in the dark shady corners of beer halls is the migration issue. Millions of people pouring into the country with extremely basic language skills, little to no education, and extremely foreign culture. German authorities mapped out a key for where these so-called refugees are allowed to live. Mostly poor areas, obviously, the elites don't want that on their doorsteps. Besides, the rich areas vote the right way anyway. You need to pad out the electorate in those poor areas. They can't be trusted to vote for the right people. They'll end up voting in some kind of patriot that'll fix all the problems that they need to keep pushing their agenda forwards. And one problem with bringing in refugees from countries like Syria is they don't know how to behave themselves around women that aren't dressed head to toe in black bedsheets. So obviously the rape statistics shoot way up. And they did. But the German government just covered them up. People don't need to know this. But they didn't bank on Russian immigrants not standing for it, because their children had been targeted by these rapists. And they came out to protest it, holding up signs that said things like, hands off our kids. Even the Kremlin has come out and accused the German government of covering up these horrific crimes. What kind of people would willingly cover up the gang rape of a 13 year old girl? The German government, that's who. Let me try and explain the kind of people that we're dealing with here. I left this bit to the end because it actually makes me extremely angry. I won't really be able to concentrate after I'll be too pissed off, and for your sake I really hope this pisses you off too. If you're familiar with the Kentler Project and would choose not to listen to this, I completely understand and you should stop listening here. Frankly I wish I could stop here too, but I need to get into this because you need to know. In the 70s there was a German doctor called Helmut Kentler. Kentler is now infamous for his social experiments. You see, he theorised that sexual activity with children would have no lasting psychological effects on the child. And he instituted a scheme supported by the German government 
to put homeless children intentionally in the care of paedophiles, saying that they would be loved. This was condoned by the German authorities for 30 years. Kentzler, according to his Wikipedia page, was a paedophile himself and had adopted kids. I cannot convey how disgusted I am. I, I simply don't have the words. He didn't suffer any legal ramifications, and he died in 2008. Which is a shame, because I want, I, I want to see him punished for his crimes. Those are the kind of crimes that you just, you need to see punished. But, there you have it. This is the German government years after their apparent reform from the Nazis. They claim it's all in their past. I honestly hope you're as disgusted as I am, and that you'll keep all of this in mind if you ever have any dealings with the German authorities. In other news, and I'll keep this brief, the uh, the Long Island serial killer video on my true crime channel has been delayed. Uh, hopefully not for too long, but it's all rather complicated and it's taking a while. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.